Hello all. In this video, let's learn about CSS overview panel in the Chrome DevTools. So this will help us to understand what all the CSS colors, fonts, and media queries we are using in our application. And not only just in our application, you can check this in any of the other applications as well. Fine. So if this is a application, so where this CSS overview panel will be available. So right click, inspect, and here, three dots are there, right? Click here, more tools, and here you can find the option of CSS overview. If I click this, you'll be getting something like this. This is a one way of getting this option in the dev tools. And the another way is any anywhere in the dev tool, uh, control command shift P. If you click, this will come command shift P, and you can search for CSS overview and click enter. So this, in, these are the two ways you can open up this CSS overview panel. Once you open this, you'll be having a capture overview. If you click this, it will generate a CSS overview report on your application. Here you can find how many elements you are using, what all the inline styles, external st styles, what all the selectors, the dual ID selectors they are using, 163 class selectors, how many media queries they are using, overall a picture of what they are using related to the CSS you can have here. So apart from that, you will be having colors. All these colors are grouped based upon their like background colors are grouped one set. Text colors will be grouped as another set. Like this, those are grouped. Here you can identify, see these many colors are used for the background. And for the text, these many colors are used. If you want to understand which color is used where, you can click this. These colors are clickable. If you click this here below, it will be listing you where this color is used. Okay, if you hover here and click this, you can go to that element. See, particularly to that element we went. So this is a background color we are using. So this is how these buttons, these colors are clickable. You can understand where these colors are using, neither the background colors or the text colors as well. Coming to the below part, this is the important one, contrast issues. So here, AA and AAA both should be ticked. It means the accessibility. It means the background color and the forward color, both are very good for the users to read. Okay, if one is ticked and one is not ticked, it means something issue with the background color and with the foreground color. And users are not properly able to visualize it like they can't read it, read the things. So it means this comes under the accessibility issues. Here you need can find out which element is facing this accessibility issue and you can further identify how to fix it. In the upcoming videos, when I'm discussing about the accessibility issues, I will let you know how to fix this contrast issues as well yeah in in ideally both should be ticked okay if you just want to understand which element is facing this if you click any of these issues it will be listed and you can check this here if you click this arrow function you can go to that element see show that element if you want to click this it will show in this elements tab that is how it goes and coming back to the font info Font info also same as the color info. It will be grouping the elements with the font size, font weight, and line weight. So here you can understand this in this way, like different fonts, what all the different fonts used and what all the different uh, weight, line height. So mostly 13 pixel is the standard one they are using. These are the number of occurrences, okay? And 19 pixel is the line height. This is the standard they are using and font weight, they are going with the 400. So these are the default, like we can say, most of the cases they are using this one and the different font family they are using. And coming to the unused declarations. So the unused declarations means this styles will not have any impact. Okay, you can re-verify these things and you can remove these styles as well. Okay, you need to understand how they have built with this and you can remove them. Okay, these are some of the unused declarations in the application. And coming to the media query, you know media query is used for the responsive development of the application. And you can understand which, see minimum with 17, so it was 1700 pixel, minimum with 1100 pixel, they have 14 occurrences. It means 14 times this was there. Like they have used this media query. So like this, you can understand how many type, different type of media queries there are using, okay? So all this overall CSS 
overview panel will help us to do all these things. So once you fix any of these issues, again, just click this clear overview panel at the top and again, capture the things so that you'll be getting the, if you're fixed the issues, you'll be getting the things here. The updated report will be getting here. So hope you understand this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you.